Hello. Uh, my name is Edward Wilson, Edward O. Wilson, uh, and uh, I'm Professor Emeritus at Harvard University, where I have been, it amazes me, for 68 years, coming there uh, as a graduate student long ago and spending my career there. Uh, I originated, my family originated from the Deep South, um, and that's where I developed an interest in natural history and then increasingly in insects. I'm an entomologist. And then finally, turning to ants uh, as the principal objects of my professional research and other scholarly activities. Most people would say about ants, uh, next to uh, asking the question, how, what do I do about the ones in my kitchen, uh, is to um, uh, the question of how have they become so successful? What is their altruism and colony organization? Uh, what is unique or special about that that makes them the equivalent of humans among all other animals? And the answer to that is, first of all, they've had a long time as a group of organisms in which to, by evolution, perfecting their way of life. They're 150 million years old, whereas humans have been on the earth in the form of Homo sapiens, our form, uh, for only about 200 to 300,000 years. Uh, and during that time, the ants have perfected colonial organization based upon altruism. And it is in altruism and the peculiarities of social organization in the ants that scientists turn in order to learn more about these traits in human beings through comparison. Uh, and ants have gotten that way in part because of group selection. Um, recently, I tracked through the whole history of life and through fossil evidence um, and other forms of evidence, the times that advanced social behavior uh, has come into existence uh, throughout that entire pageant of uh, life evolving on Earth. The number that has come into being, I found, is at least 17 times. Ants are one of those times, humans are another. And ants have clearly uh, advanced to that level because they come from groups of insects that tend to form groups uh, anyway. Uh, they're uh, in societies. And at first, the stages were very primitive, but then as the groups competed with other groups, uh, the um, form of the cooperation became more intense and, uh, and more varied and complicated, and ants developed true altruism in which individual ant workers sacrificed themselves as needed just to protect the colony. And, um, that is the form of their altruism. It's absolute and has a minimum of um, character in it uh, that uh, adds uh, benefit to the individual ant. That's not the kind of society we want to become. I think we'd like to move in the opposite direction. But at least ants are there for us to study, uh, to learn about how they are dominant why they are dominant, the effect they have on the environment, and then uh, their advanced social behavior, including altruism, how that has contributed to their success uh, as the major insect group in the environment.